you expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. Oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In you, Jesus, I trust in you, Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O oh my Jesus, your goodness surpasses all understanding, and no one will exhaust your mercy. Damnation is for the soul who wants to be damned, but for the one who desires salvation, there is an inexhaustible ocean of the Lord's mercy to draw from. We implore thee, O Lord, may all generations adore and glorify your mercy. Amen. Dear beloved of Christ, I welcome you to our today's meditation on St. Faustina's Diary, The Divine Mercy in My Soul, and today we read and listen in to diary number 551. How great should each one's love for the church be? As a good child prays for the mother it loves, so also should every Christian soul pray for the church its mother. What then should be said of us religious, who have especially committed ourselves to praying for the church? How great then is our apostolate? hidden though it be. All our little daily nothings will be placed at the feet of our Lord Jesus as an offering for the world. But in order that our offering may be pleasing to God, it must be pure. And for it to be pure, the heart must be freed from all human natural attachments, and all its affections must be directed towards the Creator loving all creatures in him and according to his will, and acting thus, each with a zero spirit, will bring joy to the church. Dear beloved of Christ, St. Faustina reminds us of our obligation to the needs of our mother church, and she gives us an image of meditation in these words. As a good child prays for the mother it loves, so should every Christian soul pray for the church its mother. We all have mothers of mother figures in our lives. It's always a call for children to pray for their mothers because they love them. They desire that their mothers can have all for their happiness. So it is a reminder for you and for me, dear beloved of Christ, to pray for our church to encourage each other on the journey, to support our church, to build our church, to bandage each other's wounds, and together celebrate the victory of our mother church on our every day's journey. We ought to offer a pleasing sacrifice to God, which must be pure. And according to St. Faustina, if we are set on fire for the love of our mother church, for the love of each other, we shall reflect a joyful pilgrim church that attracts even our lost brothers and sisters because of the life that we live, that people may know we are Christians by our love. 
by our concern, by the kind of life that we live, that people will glorify our Heavenly Father. It is my prayer for you and for myself today to awake from our slumber and pray for our church and build our church for the greater glory of God. Amen.